Welcome back to part two on the custom modification video for the wing that we're doing on my VW T4. So if you haven't already checked out part one where we take the wing off and we cut out the grill for my custom made VW badge. There'll be a little, was it up there? We're up there, top corner and down in the links below. Go check that out, come back, catch up to where we're at at the moment. <laughs> So in the previous video, I left it on a little bit of a cliffhanger for you guys, um, where I let my Instagram followers choose what color foam is gonna go in behind the grill. Now, we have the results. <laughs> and you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer before I reveal what color is going in there. But yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna it look sick and it's gonna look sick. Right, so the first port of call, the first thing we need to do today is um, I wanna get all that area cleaned down. The inner wing, I wanna get all that rubbed down. I've got some paint protection stuff up here, uh, some rust treatment, and then gonna put some etch primer over it. And then we, we will put a layer of coat of paint over it just to give it extra protection. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm buzzing just to get it on, but. It looks like uh, this could turn into a bit of a, a Lee Lockwood video. It's always raining and it has been raining quite a lot already this morning and it's kind of just stopped. So I don't know whether I try my luck and get out there now. Um, it, it, the, the issue is, is I don't want to leave any bare metal at all. And it's outside, it's in the open. I can't even, I can't even get a cover over it. So I really don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Um, I might just go check the weather forecast and I'll come back to you when we're at the front. Yeah, that's what we do, we get out the front. <laughs> it's actually started raining. Wasn't supposed to rain until later, but it's raining anyway. Um, typical, isn't it? Whoa, get dripped on. Blame it on Lee Lockwood, that's what I'm doing. Because every time I watch his videos, it always rains. So what I was doing, I had the old uh, wire wheel on the drill bit. I was looking for the one for the grinder, but I can't find that anywhere. But I actually thought while it's raining, it gives me an opportunity to have a look to see where the water actually runs down and sits at the bottom. So let's have a quick look at that. Oh, there's no room here at all. So the water runs out of the hole. I mean, it works its way down and it actually just sits in that little channel there and there's like a big puddle of it it never runs backwards to the rear bung and when it comes to the front all it does is it runs down there and it just sits along the lip or it runs onto the inner wing through there to the inside what a rubbish design what they need is a hole right there going into the inner in the arch, you know, going through. That's what it needs. Because that's a lot of water that's running through. <laughs> water just ran down my back. Yeah, so as we're looking at it, the water is still sat around there and it's not really draining as much. And it's actually finding other points where it will drip down and then down at the end of this channel. So I think what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna get some of that butty rub that I got and put a bit over the end there. We'll put a little bit in here to seal that up. And uh, also, I don't know how well it's gonna pick up, but where we've got the bonnet switch there, there's also water leaking through the little gap here. So somehow round here, the water is leaking through into there. So I'm gonna have to put some tiny little bead of sealant around there as well to stop any water running down that way. But then all the water will just run out through that hole. Oh, water down my back again. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Much better. I'm not sure now whether I should run a pipe after seeing how, how the water actually runs down through there. Yeah, so now looking at that, I really don't know. I, I might actually have to put something down there. 
because I never realised how much water actually sits at the bottom. That's, yes, yeah. So it was going so well, and I thought, oh, I might be able to get all of this done before it starts raining. I suspect you can hear the rain, it's horrendous. Oh dear. Give up, give up. But <laughs> a bit on the bumper, that's all done. Primed up, I'm just gonna have to hammer like that tomorrow. Well, a good job with all of this rain is that um, I can actually have a look to see how bad the water is running down, how much it goes through that hole. And there is a lot of water that goes through that hole. And you can see it's just streaming off. And that's what would just be sat inside this um, little area here in the inner wing. Um, just testing things out for now. But water was gushing down here and down here. So just for now, we're putting a bit of that butty rub. And uh, I was just seeing if that actually helps reduce the amount of water going through it. So what I'm going to do is, I am actually going to use that bit of pipe and I'm going to run it down and run it through into that rear grommet. So uh, yeah, I'll be doing that before the wind goes back on. But we have got it all primed up now. Obviously with the weather, it's not ideal to be painting in. So yep, rain has stopped play. Right, another day, we're back out here on the T4, carrying on with the wing. So last night, well, this morning, last night we saw how it ended with a little rain. But I got it all uh, primed up this morning. We had two hours of dry spell, so I got all that primed up. All of that just needs um, some black hammerite. So I will go over these little areas with the color coded paint. It doesn't look very tidy, but it's effective because that switch, uh, I opened the bonnet and had a look at the switch and the water was literally, it was just dripping off the inside of the switch. I mean, you can see all the engine bay, everything in there is all completely wet. Like the oil catch can, everything's got wet. So that was really leaky. I didn't realize how bad it was. So yeah, put loads of that sealer in around there. Sealer in that little gap there. The good stuff about this sealer is, um, I think I've already put it away, is that it, I can actually paint straight over it. It's professional bodywork, um, like a sealer. So yeah, I can paint straight over that later on. Um, I've gone ahead, I put a pipe in there, runs through, down. Out through that grommet. I've actually put some slots in it all the way around so that it drains off the water and it is actually working really well. Happy days. Right, well, it's finally stopped raining and uh, the sun has come out. And it's given me a chance to get the wing on. So I'm gonna try and do this as quick as possible. I have already checked this pipe out and how all the water's sitting. There's no water sitting in there now. Everything's running off, doing a fantastic job. Everything's painted up. Um, all painted in around there. I put the black, I put, oh, mate, it's hard trying to get into that little bit with a can. And I put the lacquer on way too thick and it's, um, it's gone a little bit milky. But I don't think you're gonna notice that because it's all painted up now. Drains off fine, happy days. Right, so I've gone ahead. We got some of that seam sealer on there. Uh, Indusa. Yeah, good stuff that. For professional use only. Right, let's get the wing on, get all the front end on, and see how look, see how it looks. Oh, I've also got the black filter as well, which obviously the Instagram followers chose. So I do still have the original foam that actually goes in there. Um, but the problem is with the original foam, you probably see it on all the old T4s. If you've got a T4 yourself, you probably see it, but all it just gathers moss and 
it just soaks the water up, which is no good. So hopefully this, uh, yes, someone picked up, it is a pond foam filter. Uh, that should, you know, should do the job. Water will still be able to filter through it. It's not gonna hold too much water and it shouldn't get any moss growing on it. <laughs> 